Hello, it's Thursday, and today we are going to be continuing our Soul Silver Pokemon run, where every time my Pokemon level up, they evolve into something random and I get to make it. Last time I played this, it was October, so it has been a little while. Oh, my mother is calling me, let's just ignore that for now. Um, don't ignore your mother when she calls you, but it has been a minute <laughs> since I've played any of this, and I don't really remember where we were up to. I, I know that I had a lot of rage around this dragonfly because that dragonfly had to go somewhere. But um, it was Route 32? Route 32. So we have to take Ken Kenya. I keep calling her Kendra because my brother's dog, his name's Kendra. Okay, that's all that's happening there. But uh, I need to take Kenya home. Crisis is having a moment. Um, and of course, Chaos had recently turned into the Exploud. Rawr. I think I left a lot of stuff behind in the last city, which I think was Celadon. So I think what we're going to do is run back that way. <laughs> I see I left some traps for myself, that's fine. We're going to battle our way back to the city we were just in. And um, just go over any of the things that I think I might have missed. Juggler Erwin sent out Voltol. Hello Voltol, hello Erwin. Alright, zappy boy. I'm a bite ya. Do they wait for me to start filming? Sounds like, a, sounds like a good time to charge the phone. Just to make sure you're at 100%. I'm five minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna take a quick cut while Upstairs finishes off their home renovations. Okay, we're still in the middle of fighting this Voltorb, so we're just gonna finish that off real quick. Don't... Don't paralyze me. It's taken long enough to get going as it is. Okay, I think that's two of four. So, uh, oh no, there was three of four. Um, yeah, it's just, this has been the longest battle ever. Okay, now we have crunched our way, or bitten, our way through Voltorb's candy-coated shell. How many trainers did I miss on the way up here? Was it just the last one? Or was there more than one? You're the one who saved all the slow poke? I am! No. Oh, and my mother's still calling. See, I'm pretty sure that I fought those two. Like the twins down there. Because I remember they are they are what caused me to evolve, aren't they? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I don't remember if I fought him. But I don't have to, so I'm not gonna. And we'll just... Sneak back around and go back into town. <laughs> oh, yep, it was. It was Route 31. So that's where Kenya has to go. So I just thought I'd duck in here and heal up real quick because I left myself a little worse for wear. <laughs> and then I thought I'd have another poke around town and just see what I missed because I know I skipped ahead. And thank you, by the way, to whoever it was that reminded me to come up, come back up to the roof and refill my drinks. I actually really appreciate that because I had definitely forgotten. Well, has the rooftop atrium. Don't miss the daily drawing corner. Uh, we're not going to try our luck with that again, but we are going to stop and get us some little bevies. Some thirsty work. Okay, and that's probably enough. I suppose if all of my Pokemon faint, I can just grab a can and start hoiking them. I know I've missed something in that underground tunnel because I know that you get dressed up as like a rocket and then you can sneak in... I've completely forgotten how to use elevators. <laughs> we worked it out, it's fine. Um, yeah, I know I missed something where we, I know you can like dress up like a rocket and it gets you into, is it the radio station? Something like that. But I feel like I've missed like a whole massive plot point there. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be here. What's this? Is that the game corner? All right, I'm just gonna poke my nose in. Just because that tends to be where rockets accumulate. All right, I'm gonna play once. I can't remember if it's a game of skill or if it's literally just like an RNG. Voltorb flip. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So there's, there'd be three in this row, one in this row, none in this row, so I should be able to safely flip over everything in this row. That won't be... No, that shouldn't have been. I've misunderstood what the numbers mean. Okay, well I guess I'll try again. In fact, it can't be that one there, so it's this one here. Or I'm wrong. Hey, it's not worth hitting any of these ones here. Hey! Okay. So we have two. Okay, so it has that has to be safe. Or it doesn't. <laughs> okay, that was the best game yet. I'm gonna give 
One more go and then we'll move on. I promise. I promise. <laughs> there are three Voltorb in this line and there has to, the, the cards have to add to three. So we've already revealed a one and with three Voltorbs in the line, that means the, uh, the remaining card has to be a two. This one here can't be a two. It can only be a Voltorb or a one. So therefore that's a Voltorb. So these three cards, if I'm correct, are safe to click and I'm going to check it by clicking on them. I think I've worked the game out. <laughs> Is that it? Did I win? I won! Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> I'll probably play some of that when I'm not on camera. So, uh, do I cash things in anywhere? Ah, fabulous prizes. Oh, okay, good to know. Uh, it looks like I can pick up a literal Pokemon here. Okay, technical machines and held items. Let's just have a little peek in here. Flamethrower, 10,000 coins though. Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. Okay, we're gonna keep this place in mind, but that's, that's the sort of thing that I could probably pretty comfortably spend a few hours doing on my own when you guys aren't waiting for me to get, get to the point. So, <laughs> all right, cool. So that's the game corner. What do you want, you pest scrap? That's just rude, sir. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that I could put on a rocket costume in the underground, but I'm probably trying to do things out of order. So I don't know how helpful that necessarily is, but I'm going to duck into the underground and just see if I can't get it working. Wait, so this is just dressing up the Pokemon. I thought it dressed me up too. You can dress up Chaos if you'd like. Oh, I've got some fluffy bits. Yum. <gasps> Mustache. <laughs> oh, there's a fluffy mustache. Oh. Which one's better? Quick. I think I like the little the little um, black mustache better. I'll take I don't I don't think we need the feather, I think the mustache does it all. And we'll give him something to eat. Om nom 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 nom. Yes! Hmm. Oh. I exited from a different different door. I just don't remember what it is I'm supposed to do. That is not the button I was holding down, thank you. I think I'm just confusing what I'm meant to do at the end of the game with what I'm supposed to do now. So I am just going to carry on back down that path. It was still worth coming here though. I did get to play a little bit of that Voltorb game and I got to refill my drinks. So we're going to head back out into the grass. We will be back to where we started. Oh, with some minor technical difficulties. Hold on one second. And we're going to carry on back out into the grass as I said we were. But it's not that way. Sir, ma'am. Zoom. So this way. Hello, sir. And we're gonna try and get our first evolution. <laughs> what do you got? Okay, we have one. Is it something cool? It's puffy. A little Venonat. Venonat was originally meant to evolve into Butterfree, and the Metapod was meant to turn into Venomoth. And if you look at their designs, those shapes make a lot of sense that way. Just saying. There's, there's quite a few like that. Oh! Oh, we evolved! I wasn't paying enough attention! Okay, well, Chaos is evolving! <laughs> Alright. Chaos? What, what are we making next? Come on, buddy. That's... that's... Just, uh, that's not... that's not... that's not... Uh, oh... It's ho -o. More like uh-oh. That's not funny. That's not funny. Um, okay. We have our first legendary team. <clears throat> we have our first legendary team member and I'm fine with that. Oh my goodness, that's huge. Um, <laughs> it's, so it's so ridiculous. It's like I'm just walking through a patch of grass that's meant to be like bugs and suddenly there's, there's a god. Hi. Chaos took notice of the straw hat. <laughs> Alright, dude, I'm really sorry. My bird is eyeing off your hat and I think we should go. Alright, let me just squish the Jigglypuff, hold on. <laughs> I have to say, if this ends up as another evolutionary loop, I do hope that ho is part of it. Okay, yeah. Alright, I, I, I gotta get out of the grass. I gotta look at you properly. Okay, here we go. Hello! Chaos, you are aptly named. <laughs> so we are fire and flying. I love the idea of having this all-powerful god and all it can- Oh, I suppose it's got extra sensory- This actually is a pretty good move set. I'm not going to make too much fun of it. But now I have to stop. 
and make the bird, the all powerful super bird. So that's, I guess, what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna lean really heavily on the techniques I used to make Articuno way back in the day and just try and have a matching burb set. So here we go. Right, let's do the thing with the string. So I started with my usual sketching to get a feel for the shapes that I needed. Something about this just helps me get into the right mindset. For ho I knew I could use some of the solutions I had already come up with for Articuno, but getting the beak to the right size and hooky, hooky enough, took a couple of attempts. After that, it was pretty simple to build the rest of the head and the eyes. The face turned out a little bit goofy, but I am making a battle turkey, so I guess that's just part of it. <laughs> I was originally planning to do colour swapping to block out the white belly, but honestly, just making a piece and then sewing it on is so much easier. For the wings, I wanted to take the same basic shape as Articuno, but then add more layers and incorporate the colors of Ho-Oh. Luckily, stitches have two sets of loops, so I used one set to create the red feathers, then added rows of white and green for the main feathers. It did take a couple of attempts to get it right, but I really like how they turned out. I used the same feet as Articuno, but again, I upsized the stitching used for the claws. And added on a juicy drumstick to make our battle turkey thick. I was going to do colour swaps for the neck ring too, but I ended up having to slope my rows to build the shape, which would have warped the positioning. So I did end up stitching the green ring on as a detail at the end. Okay, so there is my ho -o. I really like them. I like my little collection of super burbs. So now I guess the next thing we're gonna do, I kind of hacked my way through a bush there. Just, it's so ridiculous standing behind me. I mean, look at this, ready? Ready? Yeah. I'm not picking a fight with me. Are you picking a fight with me? So I cut my way through some grass to get here. I didn't mean to make eye contact with him. I was just trying to check out the area. I was just trying to work out if I'd accidentally taken a shortcut or intentionally and deliberately gone the correct way. Because I can't always tell. So um, I guess we're gonna battle this guy first, then we'll work out where we are. Alan, why aren't you in class? A spaghetti ball! I actually really hope that Tangela, Tangela, turns up in this run as well, just because I feel like making all those noodles and wrapping them around a ball will be a lot of fun. You look like lunch, we're gonna eat you. That's just how this goes. Oh, I should have maybe swapped. I don't want to evolve again yet. We're not gonna evolve Chaos again just yet because I'm pretty sure the Wiggle Plant is coming up really, really soon and we are going to be adding them to the team. I'm, just, I'm doing this a lot. Oh, I'm poisoned. Crisis, come on, baby. <laughs> Instead of spaghetti and meatballs, it's meat and spaghetti balls. Is that even funny? I don't even know. I, don't, I can't even tell. It's Gotta hydrate or dehydrate. Come on, he's nearly done. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, I'm really glad I split that XP. Now, I don't remember where we're going in the loop next with Crisis, but I know we've definitely made it before. Okay, we'll still cheer you on though. Yay, Crisis. Oh, that's right, Togetic. Oh, we're poisoned. Let's just take care of that real quick. Or we won't. I don't have any antidotes. I'm a bad trainer. But we are going to swap Chaos and Crisis around just because I don't want to accidentally like trigger Chaos into evolving. And also it just feels a bit extra to be walking around with... I can't remember... Oh, it's the Wiggle Tree straight away. Okay, I'm going to double back just a little bit. We'll get there in just a second because that's our new team member. And I'm not quite ready for it yet. Um, what's this way? Oh, that's some kind of town. Okay, we'll just fight this guy. Heal up in town and then come back and get our new team member. Yeah. Bless yeah. He fall asleep. We bury him. I actually didn't see if he had more than one Pokemon. He does. Let's keep battling, but I will give Crassus a bevy. They are Crassus. Drink for you. Drink for me. Bring some water. It's not me actually talking to you guys, that's me talking to me in the future when I'm editing this. But, you all should drink some water too. Um, let's see. We can try and bury this guy too, or we'll just miss. That's fine. <laughs> so we're poisoned, we're confused, today is not going well. Just stop it please, sir. So yeah, this is not going ideally. <laughs> I can't believe chaos turned into ho -Oh. Just, just for the per the perfect amount of comedic like comedic timing, there would be if chaos then turns into like smoochum, smoochum this gen, like just in time for the gym. That'd just be. Would you kindly stop that? Okay, cool. We've actually managed to hit him. Really thoroughly. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't have another one. Don't have another one. Oh, we've got one more. It's just a little abra. We will keep battling. Crisis, you're doing great, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little dude. Thank you, Psychic Mark. You should have seen that coming. Okay. All right, I got, I got it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> Thank you for the blue apricorn. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Crisis. I'm doing my best. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you into a, a, a center like right now. Hello, sir. Okay. Cool. Bug, 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 bug catching contest, I'm sure. I can always come back here. I know we have... Oh, we're in the National Park. That is not at all where I thought I would be. No, 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 no. Oh, Crisis survived the poisoning. Hurrah. Someone remind me to get some antidotes. What? What is going on here? Okay, so we're not going to go to a Poke Center. We are going to leave this arena. And yeah, I know during the late game we come back through this area. Maybe we'll catch one there if we need another teammate at that point. So, let's, after all that stress for nothing, there he is. He looks like a tree, but what might he be? Uh, I'm just gonna check my bag real quick and get some Pokeballs because it would just be like me if I didn't have any. Okay, we got six, we got two lures, two fast, two ultra. This should be enough, right? I mean, how much of a fight is he gonna put up? I'll put him to sleep, I'll poke him a little bit, it'll be, it'll be fine, it'll be great. Oh, I hope his level's not too low. Leave your guesses in the comments right now as to what you think, what you think this is going to be. The odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The odd tree attacked. Ready? Oh. Okay. Luminion. Pretty fish. Pretty lady fish. Okay. Um, oh, I don't have a name planned. Oh no. I saw that there was a lot of people like barracking for the sea theme, but also still keeping on, on the name. Oh, let's just let's just not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see if we can catch her first. Um, I don't really want to hit her this hard. Let's put her to sleep. Go to sleep, little fishy. It's a pretty fish. I'm wondering how all of them got <laughs> this fish confused <laughs> with a tree. And surely Luminion would have liked being squirted with the water bottle. I'm just picturing this very dehydrated little fish sitting in the middle of the forest. Very confused. But I think this is my first time using Pokeballs this series. So what does Lua do? Hook by a rod? I don't know if that applies here. Timer ball? Progressively better the more turns? Okay, we'll hold on to that one. Fast? I don't know how fast the Minion is, so we'll leave that one alone. I could go straight to Ultras. Let's just chuck a grate out there and see how we do. 
holding B. You do nothing. Okay, we might have to hit the fish. Well, it's gonna do not too much damage. Which brings me to Kenya. Kenya, who is perfect for this situation. All right. Come on, Kenya. Don't get attached. See, what's exciting about this isn't just the fact that we're getting a new, I think it's a fully evolved form on the team, which is just always great, right when I'm pretty sure there's a gym coming up. But on top of that, we're starting a whole new evolutionary cycle. So like chaos is, I think it's no, crisis. Crisis is already like closed off. We've been over that a lot, but it'll be nice to have chaos and our new friend yet to be named balancing each other out a little bit, particularly as we're getting up there in levels now, it's taking a little longer to evolve. So it'll be good to be able to alternate them a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're in the red, we're gonna stay there. Now, do I wanna put it back to sleep? We'll throw one more ball and then we'll try and put it back to sleep. Um, we're gonna leave the time ball to absolute last just to get maximum advantage there. It should be really cool to have her from a, in a lure ball, but I think that you're, I don't know if that's a bad choice or not, but it's a fish. Holding down B, hold down B for me. One, two, three. We got her! We have a new teammate! In the wise, wise words of Ernie, here, fishy, 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 fishy! <laughs> Luminion swimming in the darkness of the deep sea look like stars shining in the night sky. Okay, we have the Neon Pokemon. Give a nickname, yes. Oh, it looks like a little blue stripy mouse. <laughs> Cutie. Okay, so there are a bunch of suggestions about this and I can't remember any of them at the moment. I know that there were some that were like carrying on, like interested in the sea theme as well as like chaos and crisis. Um, the only one I can really think of at the moment is like Calamity, or one I can't say on YouTube. Um, <laughs> We're gonna go with Calamity. <laughs> calamity. There we go. So, Crisis, Chaos, and now Calamity. That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. Thursday obtained Berry Pots. There are so many like mini games in this game. All right, hold on. Hold on a second though. Let's have a look at our new little lady friend. She looks like a fancy blue cat and I love that. Hi. Oh, you're sad? <laughs> you're about to fall over. Okay, well, we're gonna whoosh you back into town. I don't, don't, don't want to be... There, there, there we go. Um, sneak myself back into this town here. Good evening, sir. Here you up at a pokey centre and then we'll check you out proper. There we go. Okay. Got a sassy nature. Met at level 20 and often scatters things. <laughs> sassy fits. She looks like a sassy little miss. We've got water gun and gust. So cool, we've got some water and flying. That actually rounds out what we've got going on pretty nicely, I think. So, yeah, dark grass, poison, psychic. Nope, Kenya does not count. Grass, rock, and normal. And now we've added some water and flying into the mix. That actually works really, really well for me. I'm very, very pleased. But anyway, we are gonna pause here and I'm gonna make me a fishy. Now the tree did seem a little bit fishy, but this is a bit much. But anyway, I guess we're working on another member of the fish gang to join Kavana and Lantern. I started with the main nugget. That's a, or if it's a fish, is it a finger? But anyway, working from the face backwards. I wanted clean delineation between the stripes. So I trotted out the slip stitch and then single crochet over the top method. And just look at those crispy color blocks. I do love some crispy color blocks. I extended the body back into the tail and it, it is a weird shape for a tail but it honestly really works for this lady. Next was the tail spot. And then the eyes. Now the eyelids are built in just by making the magic ring half purple and half blue and the safety eye then gets blended in with a couple of strands of the eyelid for the top. Oh 
After that it was the fins, and they are butterfly shaped, but I needed them to be strong enough to hold up our fishy girl. So I made them double walled and sewed the opening shut. Then it was just a matter of sewing it all together. I just love her creepy little face. Okay, <laughs> we're back. So that's our second Pokemon of the day. We need to get a bit of a wiggle on here. So I believe we are coming up on Ecruteak City. Just checking out my Pokemon here for a second. Chaos is level 19, Calamity is level 20. We might actually be able to go drop Kenya off now, so maybe we'll go do that. Anyway, um, I need to go to Route 31, right? Um, so let's check out... Okay, cool, I, I should be right on 31. Let's go, let's go drop off Kenya. Evening. So it's Route 31. Are you... Oh, good. Here we go. Thank you, Kenya. You've been very helpful, but uh, you do not belong to us, and so now we will give you to somebody who will love you. Huh? I don't know this Pokemon. I'll just let you take care of it. No! Do we put her in a box? Because to suddenly balloon up to a team of four, knowing that we've got at least two more Pokemon guaranteed to join the team not that far from here. I don't want a team of six. That's just a lot, a lot to handle. Mm, I guess we get to keep her. Hasty nature. Proud of its power. Bug and flying. She is going to be a supplemental teammate. And by that what I mean is I'm going to place her in the PC. And should at any point we need an additional teammate, we can we can pull her out and, and she can join the team. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably change my mind as soon as we hit a critique, but let's just let's just carry on this way first. Oh I can get some antidotes. Thank you for the reminder. All good. And off we go. Who are you? Yo. Hey, we got strength! Oh, it's Rock Smash. We already have Rock Tomb, but uh, I guess Rock Smash. Chaos, you've gotten very serious. No, 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 Chaos can keep it. <laughs> have you ever seen an Elder God do a little dance? <laughs> Chaos seems happy to have found something. Great. Fantastic. Oh, that way battle lies. Um, that way battle lies. Much of creep all nose forward here. Oh, okay. So we're on a new path. It looks like there's lots of battles here. We'll potentially get one more evolution before we hit Ecruteak, and then we're going to try and tackle the gym. So this will be about boosting up our levels. I don't actually know which gym is coming up. Ecruteak has the burn tower, right? Does that mean it's fire? Because there's a difference between burn tower and fire. Tower. Okay, cool. Anyway, ramble, ramble, ramble. Ah, uh, that's battle. All right, I'm bringing out a Pokemon. Twins. Great. Fantastic. They've each got one pigtail. <laughs> Mareep. Beloved. Funny, Mareep just kind of looks like Mareep that's been shorn. I suppose Kenya will evolve faster. Quick attack is a very helpful attack to have. Yes, you did still lose. Is this another double battle? Double, double toil and trouble. I suppose if I went that way, there'd be single battles, but it looks more like the way out than the way in. So uh, we'll do that if I feel like I need some more training. So yeah, cool. We'll take... um. Crisis and Kenya in with us. I suppose it's still a curt name. What do you ladies got for me? I don't think fairy type exists yet. Not that it's necessarily applicable to this specific battle, but it's important for me to remember. Has Wigglytuff always had white tips on her ears? It's quite pretty. 
What got disabled? I need to pay more attention. Quick attack got disabled. Okay, cool, there we go. That's a bit better. Yay, chaos. Oh, whoa, big battle. Okay. If I'm not careful, both of them will evolve. <sighs> I'm not ready to say goodbye to my super bird. Should be really close to evolving. 26 XP away from evolving. So let's just, um, let's just swap Crisis in and it'll be fine. Let's heal up. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye Bye, Bill. One horrifying second, I thought he was going to give me a Pokemon. <laughs> Would have clarified the Kenya issue for me, though, I've got to say. All right, I'm putting Kenya in the box. We will grow to like her, should we need to. And if we don't need to, we're not going. There we are. Okay, we're back to our, our official team again now. So, what's what's the happy hap in Ecritique? Did I really just say that? And this is the gym. I th Oh, it's dark. You have business with the gym leader. Morty, the gym leader, has gone to Burned Tower. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. Ho, ho, ho. So many places here. Hold still. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and like a dragon. So did it look something like this? <laughs> the dance theater. Oh, do we get surf here? <coughs> oh, I am losing my voice. I am all out of practice. That's pretty. Look at the little waterfall. Who are you? You used to have two towers, one in the east, one in the west. Okay. Okay, you're about to evolve if I'm not careful, but I just think it'd be really, really funny to take Ho-Oh into the burnt tower. Ooh, hello. They're probably all randomized as well. <laughs> now that I think about it. What's going on out here? Hi, I'm on the trail of a po Pokemon named Suicune. No, Suicune. Suicune. Suicoon. And you are thirsty. <laughs> Glad to meet you. Take a look at the basement through the hole in the floor. I feel like my ho can see them and it's just like, brothers! Hi. Morty. My name is Morty. I am Ecritique's gym leader. Ecritique has a legend about these legendary Pokemon. That... That is how that works. Oh, it's you. Hi, Frank. Oh. <laughs> he said the same thing back. Sorry, we just gotta beat Frank up a little bit. Oh, we're gonna evolve at the end of this battle. That's... That's, that's a thing. We're going to evolve at the end of this battle. Um, okay. Let's fight him. Oh, it's a ghost. What can hit ghosts? Oh, no. I know that ghost either can't be hit by dark or can't be hit by psychic, right? I can't remember. I can't remember how any of this stuff works. When in doubt, poison them. That curse me? I'm about the curse. I don't remember how curse works, but I know it's bad. <sighs> Oh, my cute little angry turkey. Cool, that's your level. I would have tried to go for another level, but I'm pretty sure Curse is going to kill you and I can't have you die. How long does Curse last? I actually don't know. Okay, so it's every turn. 78. So the pop. Good, good, good. My turkey cares not. A curse is a pain. Leave me alone. No, don't be crazy, paralyzed, and cursed. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Good. Yeah, we're gonna keep on battling. And we'll heal you up again and we'll go. I'm hoping to bump him up to level 21. I don't think this is gonna do it though. I should just cut my losses here. Because there's no way that the next two Pokemon will be enough to bump him up to full levels and it'll just leave me on the cusp of evolving again, which is a bad thing. So I made a mistake. Do I want Calamity to absorb all this? Calamity can absorb some of it. All right, my fishy love, let's see what you got. Water gun or gust? Ah, uh, let's water gun. Pew. Excellent. Good job, Cal. What a mighty first effort for the team. Ooh, a bay leaf. Okay, grass type probably doesn't care much for... We're gonna, we're just gonna keep battling. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Out of desperation, weak people sometimes do okay at fighting back. Beep, 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 beep. Don't poison the fish. Come on now. Don't poison the fish. Oof. Cal is not doing great. Oh no, that actually might kill Cal. Hang in there. Bad trainer. 
Um, come on, Crisis. You remember your old friend Bayleaf. Then I will entomb you in some rocks. I guess we'll start just giving you a trim. Trim the hedges, so to speak. Don't wake up. Don't heal yourself again, that's just annoying. Shh. Crisis, please. <laughs> please, come on, Crisis! What is it, buddy? Am I not giving you enough attention? You are an important member of this team. And it would be really great if you would chop that plant into sushi for me. One more, come on. Yeah! And again? Great! Good job, bud. Oh, for goodness sake, every time? Every time? Good. Stay asleep. I believe in you, Crisis. You've got this. You've got this. Yay! Good job, mate. Good job. We beat Frank. I'm not fighting with another me, 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 me. Sorry, I keep trying to read what he's actually saying, and all I hear is me, 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 me. Okay. Chaos is evolving, so we no longer have our super burb, and that's all right. I don't know what I expect next. So far we've had a, le a legendary and a fish this episode, so I do think it'd be really, really funny if he turned into a baby form of something, but it would also be really, really annoying. So um, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, Chaos. No! No! What is this karma? Oh, I shouldn't have mocked the Magnemite we just fought. Okay! <laughs> you know what though, we've had two really complicated ones. A nice simple one is kind of kind of a nice change. Oh, you're so little now. You went from mighty to might. Let's let's fix you up. I don't need just like regular potions in here. Cool. Oh, you're still sad. Okay, I'm sorry, Chaos. I can't stop and go to a Pokemon Center right now, but let's just check you out anyway. <laughs> Okay, there is our new Chaos. That's actually a pretty interesting shape. Um, mechanical things kind of can be a little bit but I think I'm gonna be able to pull this one off just fine. So we're gonna stop here and we're going to make ourselves a little electrical steel magnemite. I admit, I was already pretty comfortable with the shapes needed here. Still, it's fun to draw Pokemon, so that's how I started. Fun fact, when you Google magnemite, one of the top results is a magnemite butt pick. That's pretty funny. I started making the main ball. Now I could have really easily just built the eye into the main ball, but I was aiming for some contrast in the row directions between the eye and the body. It's easy enough to make it look inset by just adding a grey rim around the eyeball itself. The magnets were a more advanced shape. I didn't want one good end and one bad end, so I knew I had to start at both ends and work both of them back towards the base. I did actually try to insert some magnets into the ends, but sadly the ones I had available weren't strong enough, so that kind of got ditched. When I had both of them made, I remembered to reverse the polarity on one side so that it all makes sense. And the screws were fun little lollipops to make, just making a dome with a hard edge and then flattening them down. I then just stitched across on top of each of them.
and then it all got sewn together. Okay, so there is our third Pokemon made. So, so far we've done Ho-Oh, Luminion, and now Magnemite. So I guess what we have to do now is go downstairs and see what they are. Oh, looks like there's a whole lot more to the upstairs. Okay, bounce away. Hi. Sorry for the lack of preamble there, guys. I wasn't expecting that to just like attack me straight away. Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. I'm so hoping Suicune has been swapped out for like a Pidgey in this game file. That will make my day. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Anyway, Thursday, we will meet again. I was not aggressive. I literally was just standing there. Cut and rock smash. Okay, cool. So I'm definitely not supposed to fully explore this area yet because those are strength boulders. So we'll just toddle on back up to the top. I know there are items in there. We will we will go back later. Uh, specifically if we need to do more training for the gym. I just, I'm trying to leave myself a few more interesting openings rather than just like cut and grind. Cool. Please, please resurrect my fish. I'm actually a little bit bummed that Ho-Oh didn't make it to the gym. <laughs> okay, so either Chaos or Calamity is kind of in the running for the next level. It's like your starter should always have the highest level on your team. I'm sorry, they should. Um, and then like Chaos is now like second in command. So Chaos should have the second highest level. Do we stop in there first? Do we want to beat the Kimono girls? Let's check the gym. Let's check the gym to see if our, our leader is back. Okay, that's one spoopy old lady. Hi. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? I actually don't know if I can or not. Um, is this what, Ghost Gym? Ghost Gym, okay. Can we bite them? Don't be mean. We can bite them. Well, I don't know where I got this idea that Psychic and Dark don't work on Ghost, but they clearly do. Okay, no, uh, no, we'll, we'll keep battling. That's fine, Oh, five. <laughs> Come on, Cal. I I'm gonna try not to kill you this time. <laughs> hey, fishy, fishy. Okay, Cal is now cursed. That's bad. Curse is bad. Is there a way to break curses in battle? It's I know it's not like poison where you can just give them an antidote and cure it. Or I think it isn't. Let me know. Let me know if I'm missing a trick there. Let's keep battling. Only one little ghastly left. It'll be fine. I do think that we have a pretty good level advantage so far, so if things stay like this, I probably won't need to do any extra training. Cal can no longer escape. Cal wasn't gonna try. Oh. Cal might be escaping with the sweet embrace of death if I'm not careful. I'm going to pay attention. Okay, good job, fishy. Oh, it got dark. Let's electric boogaloo out of there and heal up, and then we'll go back in. Mother, please, I'm busy. Ah, okay. Leaving and coming back puts the lights back on. That's handy. Oh, we got another guy. Oh, I pff, fell, off the, fell off the edge. Not sure of your way. Defeat me if you want a hint. Okay. Medium Grace. Let's see if you've got what we need, Medium. Hello, Haunter. Oh, okay. Just right away. I've already lost my level advantage. That's notable. Please don't look at me meanly. You'll make me cry. <laughs> Okay, good. We're still holding our own here though. Like, this isn't too bad. <sighs> Sorry, Chaos got a little bit snacky. <sighs> okay, well Chaos is evolving again at the end of this battle. So, that's, that's not a bad thing. Medium Grace is about to send in Haunter. Uh, we will keep battling. Oof, Chaos nearly died. Uh, we're gonna just have a little snack on the Haunter. Um, I can't help but notice that Chaos's health is a lot lower than it was when he was a ho -Oh. I swear that he had nearly like 80 health as ho -Oh, and now we're back down to 47. So I guess the base stats are, are randomly being assigned as well. That's unpredictable and bad. Please don't kill my little electric bug. Awesome! Player defeated medium Grace. <laughs> they should have sent the large Grace. Okay, Chaos is evolving again. <laughs> What are we doing? Oh, oh, what's its name? The, the, the ba bas, Bastion, no, Sh Shieldion? Shield, Shield something. Shield, Shieldon. He looks stupid. <laughs> I 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's wonderful and cute. I want to give him a good scritch behind the head, shell, helmet. But, um, okay. Uh, I'm going to go heal. Just because there's no point wasting items that I don't need to waste. And then we will check out our new little shield on. Oh, he's just so really cute. It looks a little bit like they hatched from Magnemite, just because they've got that shell over the head. You're kind of cute, friend. Little rock and steel type. Sturdy. He just protected against one hit KO. That's actually not a bad thing at all. So we're going to stop here and we're going to make our little nugget friend. <laughs> nugget boy! Okay, so the sketch was really necessary here because I'm recording this voiceover long after I finished making it and I still don't fully understand the anatomy of what's happening here. I started with a big yellow nugget moving from the tip of the tail forwards. I knew I wanted to keep the head side open so it just made the most sense to approach it this way. I ended up extending it up into the broadest part of the head crest as well. So the stitches did end up doing something weird where they wrap around the edge, but it, it is what it is. Then it was time to churn out a bunch of face bits. So when in anatomical doubt, I default to making a bunch of small pieces to assemble into larger forms. In this case, beak, face, eyes, and then the main biscuit. That main biscuit had to be oval shaped and it's really easy to make ovals. You just load your increases in two main points on opposite sides of the round. He looks so surprised there. <laughs> With it all pinned in place, I made two gray squiggles, one for an eyebrow and one for across the nose. The legs were little stubs but I wanted to build in toenails. I left a front loop free around the base of the foot and then worked an extended stitch in a later row down into it. And with assembly all done, I just had to make and sew on a little backpack. Okay, so um, all healed up, little shield on made. I still keep going to call him Bastiodon, why? 
Is that what he evolves into? I don't know. Anyway, um, so back into the gym. Um, we've already kind of hit our level. Like, we're, we're kind of matched in level, and we're still defeating, like, the preambles, which makes me a little bit nervous, particularly as we're still kind of, like, leveling up with every battle. Hi! I spent the spring with my Pokémon, then summer, autumn, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. That's actually lovely. That's very nice, medium Edith. I'm resisting the urge to make the large pun again, but you should know that I'm thinking it loudly. Don't sucker punch my fish! What's wrong with you? Jeez, I wonder if they were ghosts when she first met them. <laughs> Oof, so close. You're doing great, Cal. Yeah, fishy. It's my attack fish. Oh, cool. Hey, we made it and we didn't level up. Hello? Where did Pokemon come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Careful. Careful. Oh, is it here? Oh, that's another medium. Okay. I've had to put way more thought into this than I thought I was going to. I thought this would just be like randomness and chaos and cake. But no, no, there's a lot of thinking about who is allowed to be in the battle at any given moment, just to stop stop there being no gameplay whatsoever in the video. Um, I forgot to look at how many Pokemon she had. It's three. She's got three. Bite her. Would you did just don't, don't stop cursing chaos? So that could work for me. I mean, if he faints at the end of the battle, we know that he can't evolve. But I would never deliberately <laughs> murder one of my friends. Oh, it's Haunter this time. It's alarming me how, like, predictable they're being. I know that gyms normally are, but, like, I, because I didn't look up who was in this gym, I, uh, don't know what ghosts I'm expecting at the end. Not that there's any real tactical strategy decisions I can make anyway. So, where's the but we're cursed, so there's no way we're surviving to the end of this battle. And... Sorry, Chaos. At least they gave me the XP first. Would you like to level up? We could gust the ghastly or water gun the ghastly. Okay. I think our fishy girl's gonna evolve. We defeated Medium Martha. So, who do we want our fishy friend to become? That's the real question. It could be it could be anyone still. Um, it's funny, we're not hitting a lot of dupes yet, which is good because it's a numbers game, but let's just see what Calamity turns into. I don't know what that is. Oh! <laughs> Hi! Oh goodness, another tiny little metal friend. Calamity evolved into Aaron. Hi, Aaron. I fell off the side, but that's that's for the best anyway. Let's go heal up. I kind of feel like our Pokemon started out like here, big and complicated, and as the as the video's gone on, they've gotten closer and closer to ball form. But that's that's okay. I don't mind that per se. But with just like I think there's one left. Yeah, with just one one evolution left to go for today. It'd be kind of cool if it was something big and cool, you know? Uh, hello. Beep beep. You are my calamity. You've got steel rock, rock steel, and normal flying. So all of the, like, the, we had such good di type, type of diversity there for a moment, and now it's just everything is steel rock, rock steel. Or rock steel, steel rock. Anyway, so Aaron is next. We're going to stop and make our sassy little Aaron now. I have had to break my black yarn on camera rule here because otherwise I just didn't stand a chance of getting enough contrast. My grey just isn't light enough. My starting piece was the football head. By now I think we're all used to me randomly supersizing the occasional Pokemon and Aaron got that treatment today. So I could have built this Pokemon in layers, but it was easy enough to fake the depth with the detail pieces, so I chose to do that instead.
The eyes were the first of the details. Big concave black domes, grey rims, and then a separate pupil to appear floating in the black. I used a similar approach for the nostrils and other orifices. The legs were just four pointy little nubs. And the body was a basic black potato. Then there was this armoured overlay for the back. She is supposed to have a spike on her back as well. So I started there working down the spike, then increasing in four corners to make it into like a saddle blanket. Now, part of this had to be done with short rows, but when you do that, you end up with rows worked backwards and forwards, and those rows look different to each other, and I really didn't want that for this particular Pokemon. So I experimented with alternating rows of back loop slip stitching and rows of single crochet over the top, and it got all of my visible stitches facing the same direction. Way more rigid, but delightfully effective. Then I sewed them together. Now, during assembly, I did attach the head too low, so unfortunately, my Aaron is in a permanent nosedive, but otherwise, I'm happy with it. And we're back! Okay, so, with Aaron made, Calamity's latest outfit, it is time to go back in, and I think it's just the gym leader now. A lot of the Pokemon are pretty close to evolving already, and uh, if I have to train up, at all. This is suddenly going to become an, a next video type of thing. Okay, good. So it is it is the gym leader. I don't... I didn't get his name, but, but we'll find that out in a minute. I'll just, I'll just go introduce myself and maybe he'll tell me. Hi! Morty! Of course it's Morty! <laughs> it's good of you to have come. I see a shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. Dude, our silhouettes look nothing alike. You're gonna have to help me reach that level. Okay, well at least he knows to ask for help. Morty. Okay, full Pokemon to my three. First one's a Ghastly, level 21, so same, same. Bite the Ghastly. Don't, don't lick, don't lick me. That's just, what is this? We don't, you don't lick your opponents. As long as I don't get cursed, I should be fine. Okay, Spite I can take. Spite's fine. See, he's already cut off his nose to spite his face. <laughs> Okay, cool. That's one down. So now we're on three versus three. Chaos is definitely evolving at the end of this battle, if he survives. Leader Morty is about to send in Gengar. I thought that would be his, like, big final. I didn't know it was going to come second. Let's keep battling. No, 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 please don't put me to sleep. Chaos. No. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Status healers. Awakening! I have one. I have one awakening. This is not going well. At least Gengar's moves are failing as well. It's just not super helpful that I'm asleep. Yeah, lots of failed moves. We're, we're, we're all about that. Crisis, please wake up. Thank you. Yes! Okay, good. Thank you, Crisis. Normal type moves don't work, so all we got is Rock Tomb.
Strangely thematically appropriate. Ghost type. Rock tomb. I did nothing. I did nothing! Um... Now, sleep eating is cheating. Uh, never sleep. Great. <laughs> I think being normal type is actually a power move here to a certain extent. Because Shadow Ball is just can't touch me. Which means that while my moves can't do much, neither can his. It does mean that this isn't a particularly fun battle to watch, but uh, we're doing our best. I'm almost out of rock tomb, this is gonna go very badly. Got two left. And one of them missed. Isn't that just the way? <laughs> I'm hoping Crisis will wake up soon. And then I'll um try and put Gengar to sleep and then swap them out. And then just bite at him until he dies. Crisis can't be switched out. Oh, this is gonna be a long battle. <laughs> Cut won't do anything, Fury Attack won't do anything, but they've got a lot of PP. I believe we're like literally stuck in a battle where neither of us can do anything to the other until I run out of PP and start like flailing. But even then, I'm like, Gengar, could you please hit Crisis? This might literally force Gengar to struggle himself. This would be funny if it was happening to anybody else but me. Um, this is so obnoxious. Literally all they can do is put me back to sleep when I wake up. It's just like all I'm getting is well rested. Struggle! Perfect! Yes! <laughs> Fine with this. Please struggle. There we go. That's how we do that, apparently. Good job, Crisis. Now I do that. There's still two more Pokemon to go here, but surely that Gengar was was like Morty's final act. Oh, don't start that again. <laughs> that is not funny. I can't believe this is happening again. Oh, Chaos, please don't have a nightmare. Please wake up, sweetie. Somehow this Haunter is a way bigger threat to me than Gengar was. But I will take this chance to heal Crisis, just because it feels like Crisis is probably going to be... We've got 25% left on our battery, so hopefully we can just get this done. Um... Swapping Pokemon! Crisis. Honey, sweetie. I believe in you! We still only have normal type moves. And swap in Cal. Oh, come on now. Cal is my only chance to hit this thing, so at least she's whittling down the PP. Oh, it's time for school. It's actually probably just adding to the nightmare. This might be the most annoying battle ever. Cal! Cal, you just came so close to saving the day. I just, I appreciate you so much. You did great. You just know that she just gave that everything she had. Yeah, this is, all right, I'm just gonna let myself, all right? <laughs> just because like this is, there are some things that, choices I could have made that would have made this a lot easier. Like, I don't know, bringing in some awakenings. Swapping out my normal moves for something that could actually hit him. If I, if I had one move that could hit right now, this battle would have been over half an hour ago. <laughs> How can you dream eat me when I'm still awake? Oh, I'm asleep. That makes sense. The worst thing I could do right now is use sleep powder because it'll just prolong the haunter running out of moves. Good job, Crisis. Sleep well. Okay. Sweet relief. They did great. This was not my team's fault. I did not have adequate resources. Mother, not now. What I need though is a Pokemart. And I need to stock up on a few things. Awakes. Here we go. Oof, they're expensive though. There we go. Ten should be enough for anyone. And the other thing that I will do is revives many as I can afford. I'm gonna go bankrupt to get this badge. Okay, so there is one other thing that we can do, and that is... I mean, Rock Smash is kind of the option there, isn't it? 
We needed to teach it to someone anyway. Okay, cool, all three of them could learn it, but really Crisis is my problem child right now with those normal type moves. It's just a problem because Crisis also has cut already. But we need it. He just, it just, they, they, Crisis just needs something that can hit the dang ghost. We don't really have any other TMs with us. Okay, so I know Crisis has to be the one to fight Gengar because Gengar doesn't have anything that seems to be able to do any damage to a normal type Pokemon. So that's locked in. I know we're going to hit a Ghastly first. Could be trying to strategize, aren't you proud? Um, I might lead with Chaos, and Chaos's sole job is to get through, chew through that first Ghastly. And then if Gengar is next, we swap to Crisis and deal with that. Then the Haunters, it's just going to be a little bit of chaos. It's going to be chaotic, um, as we just sort of do our best. So we'll have one more run at it, and then I will just cut my losses and we'll have to do some training instead. Bah, 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 and that's enough of that, because it's a... Copyright song. Okay, this is totally get pumped music. Okay, hello, Ghastly. Okay. <laughs> See, Spite we're fine with. We like Spite. Okay, that's the first Ghastly down. He sends in Gengar. Gengar. Okay, cool. So we're going to swap for Crisis. We should be basically immune. Asleep, but immune. And we're going to do our best to, like, battle back. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, so now we're trapped in this battle, but that works for us. Whew, that's, that's a little bit much, actually. <laughs> We actually have a move that can, we, we now have two moves that can hit the Gengar, which is a good thing. I appear to have made a mistake. Ah! It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so we're just, we're just, we're just this is potentially gonna go the same way it did the last time. But with more awakes. So that could be worse. And if any of them get cursed, I can let the curse just take them out and revive them. So we do have options. Not many, but some. Hey, I didn't think Sucker Punch could hit me. Why didn't he try that last time? <laughs> this music totally just sounds like a bunch of battle cats singing along on the fence. Citrus berry. There it is. <laughs> and now we're just back in the cycle, waiting for him to struggle. <laughs> he must be nearly out of moves. <laughs> Looks like we're just draining the last of the shadow balls now. How much PP does Shadow Ball even have? There we go. Okay. Now we're, now we're back in the battle. Now we're doing this thing. <laughs> there goes Gengar. My phone's battery is at 15%, so I'm feeling a heightened sense of drama. <laughs> okay. Here comes Haunter. We're going to switch because we're going to get mean looked, like, straight away. So we're going to chaos this. If we're put to sleep, we're going to wake up. Wait. Please. Okay, that's fine. If we die, we'll just revive. We, we, we've got a plan for this. And that should knock you straight out. We did it! We got further than we did last time! Yeah, and Cursed Chaos, it's fine. Hey, Curse isn't a bad... Curse isn't a bad name for another one. No, we'll stay We'll stay with Chaos. Let's try and get in there early with another little, little nibble nibble. Really glad there wasn't another Gengar on the team, though. I don't know if I could have sat through another 30 rounds of Drain the PP. I mean, look, I can deal with. I'm gonna bite ya. <laughs> Chaos, come on! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> awesome, and we're gonna get our evolution at the end of the battle as well. <laughs> <sighs> Who 
always ready to see what chaos is going to be next. God, it would be funny if it was, it would be so funny if it was a ghost type. Come on, chaos. 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 Oh! G Glade? Is that? It's the grassy boy. It is Glade. I knew, I knew the girl was Gardevoir. Wow. Okay, that's a real sticky one to finish off the day. I don't think our potentials are so different, but you seem to have something more than that. So be it. This badge is yours. Receive the fog badge from Morty. So what do you reckon? We're gonna get hypnosis? Shadow Paul! Okay, still. Um, can I go now? Thank you. Is there anything else to say? I get it. The person the kimono girls were talking about must be you. Never mind. You should be strong enough to go across the sea. I haven't battled the kimono girls yet. I'll check on that. I will check on that. Uh, let's get out of here. Whee! Funk. Chaos, my little man. Hi. Chaos turned to face you and smiled. Oh. I don't like I don't like humanoid Pokemon. I think they're creepy. I think they're really, really creepy. And now we've got this apparently smiling at us. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Chaos has become a Gallade. We started off with him turning into a legend and now we now he's a stick boy. Psychic and fighting. So yeah, I'm gonna stop and make Chaos's final form for today, which is a Gallade. I am not a fan of humanoid figures. I have a healthy disdain for non-dinosaurian bipeds. You won't catch me casually churning out dolls. So I wasn't thrilled about Gallade, which of course means that he turned into one of my favourites from an already pretty lovable lineup. I started by making those legs, more because I was avoiding the head-body combo than for any practical reason. The big challenge here is how stickman-like the anatomy is, so I grabbed some old bolts that I had in a box to use for the legs. They, they would add some weight to the feet, and it would give a little bit of structure going up the leg, just to help act as a foundation for the overall Pokemon. Then I went into the arms, which were coming out a little beefier than would be strictly ideal, but we're working within the confines of yarn here, and so I was okay with it. I started making the head and got down as far as the ears, but then I swapped to making the helmet instead. The helmet I ended up making w does lean way more Ralts than Gallade, but overall he was still reading correctly so I ran with it. I did make him wear his helmet for the rest of the build though, you know, for safety. With the helmet made, I could finally attach the eyes and continue working on the head. I narrowed down to a neck, swapped to green, and then flared back out to form the chest. Now, he's a hippie dude. That's pretty lucky because the legs I'd made were really kind of wide at the top, but because he's a curvy fella, I would have the real estate to be able to attach them. Lastly, I made what is either a fin or potentially a frisbee that he is impaled upon. I made mine in two pieces and attached one to the front and one to the back. And then I just sewed him together. Okay, but this guy has poses. He does mounted on his steed, drunkenly bonding with his teammates, and 
chill. It's the carnivine effect. I've made myself like him. <laughs> so there are our finished Pokemon. Let's see, we had Ho-Oh, Luminion, Magnemite, Shieldon, Aaron, and finally Gallade. So kind of a very eclectic mix today. If you had a favourite, let me know down in the comments, but otherwise I'll see you next week. Okay, bye!